Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you? I've got a packet of snacks. If you've been following this channel for a really long time, you'll know that I used to love trying out healthy, vegan, gluten-free, blah, blah, blah snacks. And I've been recording and working all morning and now I'm feeling kind of hungry, like it's one o'clock and I have to film a candid with cat after this. So I need to eat something. So I thought that, aha, now is the best time to try out some new snacks. And um, so yeah, welcome to the channel. If you don't know who I am, if you're new, my name is Gatleho of the Just Gatleho, the Just Me channel. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. We are on 21,700 subscribers right now as I record, which is wild to me. Really, really exciting times. Welcome to the channel. I've got a cup of tea here and I've got a bunch of snacks here. I will list the video of me trying out different snacks down below. I am looking for new snacks because I'm trying to stay away from the Lay's American barbecue chips. Okay, somebody help me, I'm struggling. Um, so I'm trying to get into some new snacks and I thought that we could try them together. Well, I'm, pers I'm personally trying them for you so that you can know when you go to the shops, if you find yourself in the shops, I got these from Spa, uh, so that you can know what to pick up. You know, what you can put down, what you can, um, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, I got these from Spa. My Spa is, ooh, we actually have a drink in here so the tea can take a minute, okay? So my Spa has a really great selection of like a healthy food section and it's got everything from tofu to to soy meats to to um non-meat products you know but like that are protein based and it's got different cereals and it's got different types of milk and it's got different types of snacks and sweets and and and, and chocolates and 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 bread and this it's like a whole entire huge section of healthy food either gluten-free either vegan either whatever but just healthy alternatives in terms of food so I'm really really excited to try these out because I am looking for new snacks and going into the summer months we love to entertain we love to have snacks I'm trying to get my friends to be healthy like I am <laughs> our first drink our first snack which is the immunity get it the T A T E A at the end. Immunity Vit Hit, which is water plus juice plus tea plus vitamins. And this one is the dragon fruit and yuzu flavored drink. But that's what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna try it out. Okay. Dragon fruit, I know what that is. Yuzu, I don't know. So this has vitamins, zinc, and Ceylon tea. Um I don't see sugar anywhere here because ingredients, if there was sugar, sugar would be the first ingredient all the time. Uh, we've got water, reconstituted white grapefruit juice concentrate, citric acid, dragon fruit and yuzu flavoring, tea, folic acid, stabilizers, sucralose, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't see any sugar. And it says it's got vits, vitamins, Juice, 8% juice, aqua, mm -hmm. uh, and tea. Source of B1, B3, B6, B12. Well, that sounds interesting. I wanted to know if it was vegan or gluten-free or whatever. I don't know, but we're going to taste it anyway. Let's see the color of the liquid. Ooh! All right, I like that. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been better. Does it have an aftertaste? No, it doesn't. I think it would have, now that I've been in your mouth, I think it's time we had a chat. Wow! <laughs> it's saucy, man. Let's drink, man. It's saucy, the packaging. We love it. That's good. 23 calories. Only 23 calories per 330 ml. So, we love it. So, this is 17 rand. 17 rand. So, it's a little bit on the pricey side for a 330, you know what I'm saying? But, Cold drinking, cold drinking, good guy, buddy, good guy. All right, so the next, the first snack out which we're going to try is the Hooligan. I 
love the names. Pretzel smash, sesame, and it's baked. This one is vegan, no preservatives, no MSGs, no palm oil. We love that. We love that. Okay. How do you open this? Okay. So this is what it looks like. Look at that. Cute. I'm going to try it. Oh my God, do I need to fight? Oh my life, I had to fight. I love how I'm going to for me. Oh God, I'll be back because I'm definitely not going to finish these. Let's see what they look like. They look like faces. Let's try one. Not too salty, which is nice. If you're a pretzel lover, I think you'll enjoy this. A little bit on the harder side. If you've had pretzels from like Woolies or whatever, you'll note that they're a little bit soft. They're slightly softer and mushy. This one has a little bit of crunch, but it's actually quite enjoyable. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can put it right here. 22 bucks. Here's the thing about these. These things tend to be expensive. That's why I don't do these videos all the time. Oh, I've got pretzel in my teeth now. The next one out is Wholesome Harvest Chips Broad Beans. Huh? Yeah, Broad Beans Chips. Okay. So this is um, vegan. Ding, ding, ding. It's got broad beans, palm oil, cornstarch, sugar, modified cornstarch, barbecue powder, blah, yada, 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 yada. But this one retails for Wholesome Harvest. Wholesome Harvest. 21 bucks. And we're going to try it. This one is easy to open because you just slip it across like that. It smells... Yeah, smells very barbecue-y, but like, um, oh, okay. But I don't know whether they are chips or they're beans or broad beans, yeah. So it's not potato, there's no potato here. Onion powder, garlic powder, tomato powder, chili powder. So it's just really proper stuff that you know, like no MSGs or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's try it. Twin Park, Johannesburg, I don't know. Mmm. 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 Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. This one, the moment you put it in your mouth, the flavor hits immediately. So, this bursting with flavor is not a lie. It is bursting with flavor. Um, but the more you... I don't know, the barbecue seems a little bit, seems to fade out quite easy on, early on. Mm. And again, hard, really hard, actually much harder than the pretzels, so I'm not sure about if I would repurchase this because I have very sensitive teeth, so it's, mmm. But they're good, they're not, they're not bad at all, they're good. Um, they're okay. They're okay. I mean, they're okay, I guess. Next out, we have a rice snack um, by the brand called Bacali. I think I've got two of these. Yeah. Uh, one is cream cheese and chives, and one is chutney flavored. And these go for 10 bucks. So for this, 10 bucks. This is obviously a rice cake, if you think about it. Popped mini cakes, not fried. Source of protein, cholesterol free. And 40 grams, and it's gluten free. So it doesn't say anything about it being vegan, but it is gluten free. Uh, ingredients first thing is rice cake, cream cheese and chives flavoring, solids, vegetable powder. I like the fact that with these things, 
a lot of the things you're reading here are things that we already know so you're not reading something that sounds like it's genetically modified or it's genetically made for this everything is like stuff that you know soya herbs spices crema um what 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 lactose so maybe that's why it's not vegan this is what it looks like we're going to try the cream and chives one that's what it looks like i'm going to give it a shot i won't open the other one i'm going to give it away to my sister and tandy because my sister is coming of course it looks like a miniature rice cake If you like rice cakes but you find rice cakes to be boring sometimes that happens it be like that sometimes okay and you find them to be boring this is nice I'm a fan of uh, cream cheese and chives on everything like even on popcorn I like the cream chives whatever flavoring on popcorn and whatever I like this flavor on pretty much everything so as in terms of snacks that's why I picked it up and I'm pretty sure I'll probably like this one more than the chutney one, but it's really good. Soft, melts in your mouth immediately as soon as you put it in there and you mix it with your saliva. But it's really good. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Yeah. I'm within. Listen, if I have rice cake on my mouth, it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. Wash it down with my little dragon fruit juice. Really good. Really good. Ooh. Now this I want to try. It's from the same brand as this, the beans one, the barbecue flavored broad beans. Um, this is chickpeas. These are roasted chickpeas and I love chickpeas. If you've watched my video, my last vlog or something like that, I did a chickpea salad. No, my last what I eat in a day. Um, so I really enjoy chickpeas. I'm going to try this one. It's high in fiber, source of iron, and it's vegan, 40 grams as well. This one goes for about 23 Ooh. chickpeas, palm oil, <laughs> palm oil, black pepper powder, salt, and soybean oil. That's it. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. <laughs> it's a no from me. Immediately when I bit down on it, it was so hard, it put me off. Um, the flavor, sure. No. I think that one actually is my least favorite one. So This one is the one that I've most been looking forward to having. This is the El Burro Mercado. Chipotle and chili lime tortilla chips. Now, that's what it looks like. So we're going to give it a shot. Non-GMO, organic, white corn, chipotle chili, dried fresh lime, water, canola oil, pickling lime salt. That's it. That's it. We don't like preservatives. Weird additives. We make our flavor using three ingredients. Chipotle, chili, lime and salt, and nothing else. That's nice. That's good to know. I mean, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Why must they be so hard to open, though? But the packaging is my favorite one. Because it's also got, you know, tortilla chips, so it's also got that whole Mexican vibe about it. So it's got the Mexican colors as well. Of course, I think we all know what tortilla chips look like. Okay, I picked out a broken one, but anyway. I hate it when something is really hard on my teeth. Ah. Mm. Okay, here's the thing about this one. This is nice. If you like, if you like nachos or you like tortilla chips with like any kind of dip, like a guac dip or a cheese and chives dip or whatever, this will go. Okay, this has flavor because it's actually sitting at the back of my throat, and I'm assuming that that's those are the chilies and the lime and salt. I can actually taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
うんうんうんうん And this one is 100 grams and it's 23 bucks.、Mm. 100 grams, 23 bucks. 40 grams, 21 bucks. You see? Really good. Really, really good. I think this would go down really well with nachos, with a little bit of jalapenos. You just cut the jalapenos, you melt over some cheese on there, you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds or a minute so that the cheese will melt and you entertain your friends. That's good. I think what we've got left are bars. These are bars of. What we would think would be a chocolate bar or whatever, or a protein bar or a health bar or whatever.、Um, these are the herbivore vegan dairy free、uh, bars nut butter cups with cashew coconut. Ooh, that's what this one looks like. So, this one sounds delicious. This is the nut butter cups, cashew coconut, and then these are coconut cookies, salted caramel. I know why I picked them both up because I love those. I love those. I mean, cashew coconut. Okay, salted caramel first. What do we go with first? Okay, let's, let's start here first. Okay. Oh. Oh. They are like placed nicely on a little tray on the inside here. Oh. Oh, oh. one of them has already broken up, but like they placed on a little tray. And when you just pick one up, that's what it looks like. Just looks like a, a piece of chocolates. There. Fine, it's fine. <laughs> This one is a no for me. <laughs> I'm willing to give the coconut cookies. And salted caramel, a girl, because this sounds anything salted caramel for me. I love, like, oh my god, I loved the caramel macchiatos from Starbucks. Anything with caramel, and you want to salt it up. Oh, these ones are nicely colored. Have a look there. Seems like it's going to be a bit messy. Great. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is nice. It just kind of melts in your mouth.、Though. Crunchy tea time treats. This would be really nice with a cup of tea. Where's my tea at? w h e r e my tea? It's like those,、um, I mean, it's flaky, man. There's something that I've eaten that's almost exactly like this, and I'm trying to remember what it is. There's a sweet that I've eaten. Or a, <clears throat> a biscuit. Okay, because these are coconut cookies, so it makes sense, right? Mmm. 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 Messy as heck, but flaky, man. You know how sawdust looks? Not how it tastes. <laughs> How it just gets really flaky. That's exactly how it feels when it goes into the mouth. It literally just.、Mm. I wonder how this would be mixed with chin, yes? <laughs> Let me not be that girl. I'm gonna continue snacking on this while I film another video right now.、Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. These are my snacks, healthy snacks, something to try out if you're looking to try out something a little bit more on the healthier side and not have potato chips and all those kinds of things. Try it out, see, see how it goes. But yeah, until then, I'm gonna go see you in the next video. Mwah.